Well, here we are at CES 2015. Regular readers of Incisor and previous viewers of our roundtable movies will have heard a lot about an ocean, energy harvesting technology. But we have reason to believe that things are evolving. And I'm talking here to Jim O'Callaghan from N Ocean, who will tell us a little bit about how that's happening. Jim. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, we're seeing a number of trends. Um, N Ocean has been around for more than a decade and has uh, pioneered the concept of using energy harvesting to power wireless sensor networks. Uh, the applications of those have traditionally been into uh, commercial buildings and industrial applications. But we're seeing a much bigger push into consumer and smart home applications, followed by a trend of, of the Internet of Things and connectivity and some of the applications like you see, for example, with Nest being smart devices in homes. And we have a couple of partners here today that have uh, presented uh, an excellent illustration of this introduction of energy harvesting technology into consumer smart home space. I'd like to introduce Thomas Gautier of Nonon Corporation to talk a little bit about their solutions. Thanks, Jim. OK, Thomas. Thanks, Jim, for the introduction. So as Jim said, uh, not only is a hardware company doing uh, devices in an ocean and our goal is really to bring the home automation access to everyone. So for this, the, the three key factors is to do like beautiful products, reliable products and affordable products. So that's the three things we try to put on the market with our an ocean product. So I've got some example here where we can have like a quick remote controller and a smart plug mm -hmm. and you can easily connect the, the soft remote to the smart plug and try to do some automation at home and of course the remote controller has no battery inside. Okay and what type of uh, home devices or appliances would you be able to connect? So for example here with the plug you can connect it to a light, or a lamp or a heater, electrical heater or any kind of electrical appliances and then you can use your like, nice design remote controller, switch on or switch off, put on the fridge because there's a magnet inside so it's quite user friendly and the idea is really to bring this really nice and ocean technology to the consumer with products consumer can feel and can touch. Okay, well I guess what we're talking about here is devices that are enabling the Internet of Things or the Internet of Everything as everybody calls yeah. it, which is all about gathering data and that data has to go somewhere and be useful to somebody, which means connecting with the cloud. Yes, you're right. So that's why we're doing devices and then we work with some partners which are specialized in all the home automation gateway side, cloud services, data analysis, and that's what Emmanuel is doing at uh, Ubiant. Uh, our business, Ubiant, is a French company uh, based in Lyon, and uh, we have a cloud-based solution uh, focused on energy efficiency. We designed a very simple solution based on a concept that if each product produce, uh, each device produces its own energy, each room produces its own energy. Each building produces its own energy. Of course, you have no more problem. It's the reason why we choose an ocean as native protocol for our product. The system alone finds the best balance between comfort, uh, uh, well-being, and uh, uh, your goal in terms of conception. Is this uh, product, has it reached production stage? Can people buy this today or is this a technology display at the moment? Uh, uh, the launch will be in uh, September to uh, this year, on, the, on this year. Uh, and uh, for the cloud it's probably March. So, and for the northern side, the products are already available on the market with all in Europe, our own uh, e-tailers and we're going to release the product on our first retailer, a big shop in France, starting from February. So we're going to find this product in shops very soon uh, in Europe first and I hope soon in US. That's why we're here in CES. Great, thank you. Well, let's just close with a final word from Jim. Jim, you must be quite excited to see the technology uh, moving into a new, completely new market, really. Yeah, it has been uh, really rewarding for us to uh, see the development. We actually would like to thank our, our partners for their hard push at Ubian and Not on, and uh, we we'll look forward to uh, 2015 being a uh, significant uh, acceptance and, and adoption of uh, an ocean in the Internet of Things. Gentlemen, thank you all very much. Thank you.